It's PBC Fight Night on Fox. First up, Brandon Figueroa and Yonfrez Parejo for the WBA Interim Super Bantamweight title. To the ring we go, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon and a good evening to you, and we welcome you to the Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson, California. As Premier Boxing Champions presents a big night of action coming your way, it's Fox BBC Fight Night, and it's all brought to you by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing. Well, fans, this bound to the ring is sanctioned by the WBA, the President Gilberto Jesus Mendoza. We introduce our judges scoring the action from ringside. We have Carla Caiz, Alejandro Rochin, and Zachary Young. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the interim WBA Super Bantamweight World Championship. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with green trim, joining us from Valencia, Venezuela. He weighed in at 120 and one half pounds. His record stands at 22 wins, three losses and one draw, with 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the world rank fighter tonight making his U.S. debut, introducing Jon Frez, El Verdugo Parejo. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing yellow trunks with black trim, hailing from Westlaco, Texas. He weighed in at 121 and one quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 18 wins, no losses, 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the undefeated super bantamweight phenom known as the Heartbreaker, introducing Brandon. Figueroa. Figueroa and Parejo, tail of the tape, 10 year age differential. Figueroa stands 5 foot 9, 1 inch taller than Parejo, 5 inch reach advantage. Figueroa unbeaten, 18 and 0, 13 via knockout. Parejo comes in 22, 3 and 1, 11 via knockout. His first fight and his first ever trip to the United States. Parejo, born in Venezuela, now based in Panama. Close captioning is available for ready? tonight's telecast. If you would like to hear the broadcast in Spanish, click Vigo, over to Vigo. the simulcast on Fox Deportes. Underway, scheduled for 12 rounds for the WBA Interim Super Bantamweight title. Kenny Albert with Lennox Lewis, Joe Goosen, and Heidi Androll from Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson, California. One thing you're going to see a lot tonight, Kenny, is Brandon Figueroa switching from right to left hand, just like his brother Omar does. They're, they're both trained by their father, and they've been doing this their whole career. And uh, it's a very confusing style. Uh, but Pereira in front of him is a very good fighter. Uh, he's hard to beat. He beats good fighters. He just doesn't knock them out. If you can stop, if Figueroa can stop Yontrez, uh, uh, he's he's really got a big feather as a captain. And he's going to try to. Guerrero, he's coming out. He's, he's looking for that shot right now. Because Brandon really came at him, and he's coming aggressive. He wants to test him out. Yeah, and he's doing the right thing. He's taking his time. Feeling him out for this first round. Parejo is the former WBA Interim World Bantamweight champ back in 2014-2015. And of course, the Bantamweight champ is just four pounds lighter than the 22 to pound division we're talking about here. Parejo's got a good right hand. I watched that. I watched tapes of him. He's got a good straight right hand. And what the uh, uh, Figueroa is going to do is he's going to put that head down, bury it in your chest, and he's going to loop punches over the top without looking. And he's really good at that, and he'll double and triple up on both sides, either hand. Oh, good right hand by Parejo, right there. Figueroa usually throws a high volume of punches. In fact, he holds the copy box record for most punches thrown in a round. One two in one round. Oh, 
One minute remaining in round one. What have you noticed, let it show the first two minutes? Well, they're both getting used to each other because they're both good fighters. And, uh, you know, this is the feeling out process, the first round. And Figueroa really started it out coming after him. Yeah, you see what, uh, sorry, Lennox, yeah. you see what Hill's doing right now. He's tying up um, Figueroa on the inside a little bit. Uh, locking his arms up so he can't get those short shots off. Not all the time, but every so often to use it to his advantage. Good luck put by Barrejo right there. Barrejo said he has something in store for Brandon because he's, he noticed that he switches, so he noticed the mistake he makes when he switches. So every time he switches to the right, he comes with the right. Bring your punch to the Brandon, bring your punch to the 15 seconds remaining in round one here in Carson, California. Scheduled for 12 for the WBA yes, 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 Bantamweight go. title. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, good luck. Look like Brandon. Time! I'll tell you, it was a little bit of a tug of war. I, 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 I would say that, uh, you know, Pereira landed some really crisp shots, um, and he's showing a lot of te good technique in there. Uh, Brandon's going to have to step it up a little bit and muscle up a little bit more. What's Pajero's really done, he's shown good defense. He's shown that he's not getting hit too, too easily, and he can block a shot. You're right about that. He, he, he is. He's a, good, he's a very good complete fighter. You know, he's no, no pushover. He's beaten a lot of good guys. He's former champ. Um, and uh, look, this is, uh, if, if, if Brandon can show well against him tonight, he's for real. This is going to be a real, his best test as of yet. Guerrero. He's shown some good right hands and they're accurate as well. So he has to throw a little bit more. Brejo told us in studying for this fight, he picked up that Figueroa's style is very similar to his older brother, Omar. Oh, it's, it's identical. Now, there's one big difference. Uh, Omar Figueroa is the champion of the world, and Brandon has not yet achieved that, but he's, he's looking to get there. Well, he's following his, his brother's footsteps because uh, his, I remember last time when his brother was fighting, he had that copy, and you can see that yeah, Brandon's see doing the, yeah, yeah, Brandon's doing the copying too, so they're following the same process. Brandon, 22 years of age. This is 19th pro bout. Unbeaten with 13 knockouts. He's won his last five by a stoppage. We asked Brandon what he's learned from his brother. He said to not be scared, to never give up, and don't leave anything in the ring. Body shot there by Figueroa. And right there he got countered by a nice little left uppercut from Morejo. So Grail sneaking in these little short shots like that little right hand, that little body shot right there. Especially you know, when, especially when he saw when he turns when Brandon's turning the softball. He's catching him in the middle of the switch is what you're with saying. the right hand. I mean that's a normal thing, natural thing to do. The wisest thing to do. Anytime somebody is a southpaw on you, throw that right hand a little bit more. That's that's the rule of thumb, isn't it? Yes it is. I don't always a body part. No, I, I, throw, I throw some uppercuts. Nice. <laughs> Look at the punches landed. Figueroa with 41. Parejo now with 31. 40 seconds remaining in round two, scheduled for 12 for the WBA interim super bantamweight crown. Oh, great. right by Parejo. Great counter right hand by Parejo. He stepped back off the ropes and came back out with a nice right hand. He's landed short little shots on the inside. Right there, a little right hand left hook, which Brandon smiles at. He mm -hmm. smiles a lot, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, this is 12 rounds. That can, 12 rounds can wipe the smile off your face if you've got a fight like this. Final seconds of yes, round two. Ooh. Here comes that right hook right at the end of the belt. Bam, right there behind the head. See, now it's, it's one thing to hit somebody on the side of the head, it's another thing to hit them behind the head. And that was a little late and a little behind the head. Sometimes it's accidental. Yeah, sometimes the guy could be leaning forward and you don't mean it. Exactly. Here's okay. Brandon going to the body with that great body attack he has. Let's see if it can work for him. Ooh. But he did catch two solid right hands coming out of that uh, clinch right there a second ago. Or I should say after his body attack. Burrell landed. He's got a really good straight right hand for It's very accurate. Yeah, Figueroa like throws a heavy volume of body punches, as we right mentioned there. earlier. 
Parejo's last two defeats have both come in title fights. He's lost only three times in 26 pro bouts. And the damage to the right hand is already manifesting itself on Brandon Figueroa's left eye right now. It's red, it's bumpy, and it almost looks like it's ready to uh, bust open, to tell you the truth. A couple of good more right hands. In that Punch has landed, Figueroa 64, 44 by Parejo. See, Parejo made a nice little move there. He threw a right up and cut to the belly and made a turn just like that. He's getting away from the counter punches of Figueroa. by Figueroa on a right hook, and almost all of them landed. So he's, he's coming back. There's a lot of give and take here. A little bit of a tug of war going on. Yeah, he's still early in the, in, in the round, so hopefully Piero comes back a little better. He hasn't really mounted an attack yet. He's just watching. Parejo making his U.S. debut. He's fought all over the map. Last fight took place in Costa Rica back in February. Really keeps those gloves in tight, does Parejo. And you saw right there, he stood over uh, Figueroa and just landed a nice little body shot, but Figueroa comes back with his own uppercuts. It's uh, a lot of give and take here. Somebody's going to get clipped and get hurt pretty soon. It's back and forth. You know, both guys need to be a bit more vigilant, especially on the defense, keeping their hands up a little bit. <laughs> Twenty-five seconds remaining in round three, scheduled for twelve. Missing with that right was Parejo. Both guys missed with the punch, but that, that little right hand right off the ropes for Parejo landed. And there goes Brandon hitting behind the head again. He's got to watch that. A look at Brandon Figueroa with his older brother Omar, who beat John Molina back in February on Fox. And their sister, Omira, who works as Brandon's nutritionist and strength coach. We'll hear more about it from Heidi Androl in just a little while. This is round four, scheduled for 12 for the WBA Interim Super Bantamweight title. 22-year-old Brandon Figueroa from West Lico, Texas. And 32-year-old Fred Parejo, born in Venezuela, now based in Panama. Now, right now, you see Parejo again. He's got that left arm locked up with the right arm of Figueroa while he's punching with the other hand. And Figueroa came out in the beginning part of this round using a jab. I could tell his dad telling him, use the jab more uh, when he came out this round. And it served him well because he landed a couple of good left hands along the road. Let's check in with Heidi. Thank you very much, Kenny. What have you told him? Keep his distance. He's got the longer reach. When he uses his distance, he looks better. What do you want to see from him more in this round? Uh, body pushing and keeping his distance. Use his, his jab as, as he goes in. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Back to you. All right, thanks, Heidi. The words of Omar Figueroa Sr., Brandon's father and trainer. Figueroa needs to be doing a little bit more. What he's doing is hanging back a little bit more and holding. I don't know why, why he needs to grab the hand. He should be working. Well, I'll tell you why. He's, he's grabbing that right hook. He's, he's getting hit with it a lot, and he's getting hit with the behind the head, side of the head. So he's trying to tie that up while he's using his other hand. Uh, it's not a bad strategy as long as the referee isn't warning you about it. Referee Jerry Cantu. Look at the punches landed. 99 by Figueroa, now 100. Parejo 56. And what landed right there was a double hook and a right uppercut with that same hand that he was tying up. And that's what I'm saying. I, I, I don't want to tie that. I was a little low blow by Parejo. But, you know, it's not a bad move on the inside to tie up that arm of uh, uh, Figueroa. He uses it well, and then he throws that little left up with him, right off that hole. Even if Piero wants to, wants to work on the inside, he needs to be, you know, giving himself a little bit more room, and even do a little bit more pushing. And they're getting rougher with him. Yeah, they're yeah. more rougher. Yeah. Well, they're both really digging great shots. 
to the body, and look, it's going to have an effect. Like one fighter told me, your body sounds like bank investments. I asked him why. He said, because they always pay dividends later. And it's true. They pay, oh, great left uppercut. By, by Time winding down in round four. Time. Back in Carson, California, coming up later tonight, our main event, Danny Garcia, Adrian Granados. Garcia, the former two-division world champ, 34 and two. As a pro, Granados with a record of 26 and two. This is round five, scheduled for 12 for the WBA interim super bantamweight title. Brandon Figueroa and Yonfrez Parejo. Who has the athletics in your mind over the first four rounds? Well, Brandon Figueroa has, because he's, he's actually getting off first. And stop, stop, he's, uh, stop, stop. throwing some great punches. And he's got heroes on his back foot, really, right now. And what I mean by on his back foot, he's you know, retreating, looking for defense, he's holding on. So he's not really trying to pile up the point, points like he should. How about you, Joe? Well, I, I see it as a, a, a really a back and forth action right now. I, I thought Parejo, I thought uh, Brandon Figueroa started out really good in the last round, and then Parejo came on very strong and landed some really good solid shots. So you know, it's back and forth. Um, I, I'd probably, I'd probably have it even right now to tell you the truth. But that's pretty darn close to me. If I were in the corner right now, I'd be saying, look, you, you know, you got to pull away if I were in, in Brandon's corner. you got to pull away and make it obvious that you're winning every round from beginning to end. Well, you know, on the distance, he, I think he wins on the distance and on the inside. So, well, you he, know, he's, he's winning both places. Over to Felix to Jesus. Felix. Yeah, so what he basically said is that you know he's a dangerous fighter, but we prepared for this kind of fight against Brandon Figueroa. Back to you, Ken. All right, thanks, Felix. Felix in the Parejo corner. Well, just as I said earlier, it, see, this round, uh, Figueroa has really dominated it since the bell rang. So. If he can continue this, not let Pereira get back in on the uh, the last 40 seconds here and score something big, he's going to win this round because he's winning it from beginning to end. And he really hit Pereira with some really good shots yeah, midway I, through this round. I agree with that. He's on the inside and on the outside. Yeah. I think Pereira needs, I think he's just cornered to him the wrong thing to do. You know, to put his head down inside. I agree. <laughs> that was the worst thing to say. <laughs> I agree. Well, I think what they said, and right now he's getting he's getting the table run on him right now by figuring out. And, and he's hurting for Ray Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Five. That will do it for round number five. Welcome back to PBC Fight Night on Fox. Five rounds in the books. Work for it. Work for it. We're going to do it. Figure out nickname. The Heartbreaker, unbeaten, 18-0. Good fifth round, Joe, for Figueroa. Okay. Yeah, well, the, the only heart that's getting broken right now is Parejo's because uh, he got broken down in that last round pretty good by Figueroa. Figueroa was actually hurting him in the last round, not just scoring, but hurting him. And it's allowing Figueroa to gain a lot of confidence going into this next round. Without a doubt, without a doubt. And, and, and I think you're right, Lennox. I, I think the advice from the corner for Pareo by they told him to stay low on the inside. Well, that's not necessarily bad advice, but they should be telling him the angles and move and don't sit in the pocket too long with this kid because he's really a bigger, stronger guy than Pareo. I think Pareo should be moving as much as he can around him on the inside. Well, and, you know, and, and allowing Figueroa to get off and stop, 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 stop. without him answering any shots. He's not throwing back any shots. Over to Heidi. Well, that's right, guys. His corner is chanting, you got to be quick, you got to be quick, Brandon. They want him to go to the body more. They, in fact, they said they really want him to go to the body with the left hook as well as keep the distance. Kenny? All right, thanks, Heidi. Well, what Pareo is doing there exactly what I suggested, which is not sit still in the pocket, give a little movement, 
when you do get inside, turn him a little bit. Right there, now he bumps up against him. He's going to try to twist out of there right now without right. taking too much abuse. But Figueroa has told like about 10 punches already. And he, he's so nothing back. Well, he's not letting him out. As he, he's not letting him out easy. That's why. You know, Pereira's trying to get out. But Figueroa is very strong and he's muscling him against the ropes right now. There's a little nice little left uppercut for Parejo, but he's not scoring like he was in the earlier rounds, that's for sure. He's, he's looking to move around a bit more and give himself a little bit more room so he can see some some punching, some place where he can actually get in and score some good punches. I think Parejo's doing the smart thing by moving around a little bit, doing a little bit more boxing, giving himself a breather and a rest from the punishment because the last round he took a lot of shots. In fact, he's holding that the right hook arm again of Figueroa's in that clinch there. And Figueroa's doing the right thing. If he holds one hand, hit him with the other. That's right. You're allowed to do that. Final minute, round six. Figueroa has landed 175 punches. Brejo, 88. Make that 89. That was a nice little right hand by Brejo. Yeah, I mean, he used to throw that a little bit more. I mean, he was... He was getting through with the right hand in the earlier in the earlier rounds. Now he stopped it. Now he's, he sees what can get in again, so he needs to throw it a lot more. Well, look, look what's happening, though. Figueroa's gotten in his rhythm. You know, there's a nice little right hand left hook by Correa. Figueroa's getting in his rhythm, and he's really jumping on top of him. He's not just walking him down. He's running him down wherever Correa goes. Well, he better be careful because Piero got that, he's got that right hand. But he's only... He run, but he, he could run into it. Yeah. Figueroa continuing to throw a high volume of punches as time winds down in round six. This is round seven. For the WBA Interim Super Bantamweight title. Let's check in with our unofficial score, Marcos Diegas. Marcos, how have you scored over the first six rounds? I have it 58 to 56. Brandon Figueroa, he's fighting his fight, his style, his rhythm. He's really showing his youth in his fight. And he's just outlanding a Parejo at this point with the type of fight that he's fighting. It's not a good fight for him to fight on the inside because Figueroa is just going to outland him to the head and body. All right, thanks, Marcos. So Marcos gave the first two rounds to Pareto and the last four to Figueroa. And I tend to agree with that very much so with Marcos. I, I think that's an accurate assessment. You know, Figueroa, once he decided to turn it on and figured out Pareto, he's really been dominant. And um, look, I mean, I could see eventually if Figueroa keeps putting this type of pressure on him, stopping a guy that's really not easy to stop and the, like i said it would be huge for him if he did punches by round 142 punches thrown by figueroa in round five closing in on 700. we mentioned earlier figueroa holds the copy box record for most punches thrown in a round and the second most power connects Pereira's not really doing anything right now. He's throwing, you know, he's moving around really good, throwing one punch right hands. He needs to throw a lot more combinations if he wants to hurt Figueroa or even, even stop him or slow him down. But he's not doing anything to slow him down or stop him right now. By the way, in that fifth round, Figueroa has set a new copy box record for punches thrown in one round with 142. <laughs> that's a lot of punches, that's for sure. If you, throw, if you start getting around that 100 mark, that's an extreme amount of punches. So 142 is you starting to dominate. You, you're dominating somebody if you're, doing that. if you're not receiving anything back. And he's averaging right around 100 per round. Somebody must have told Pereira stay, stay away from the ropes because every time he gets close to the ropes, he steps right into Figueroa and uh, gets real close to him. He doesn't want to put his back against the ropes whatsoever. This is where he steps in, maybe hold. Well, in all fairness, the last uh, 10, 15 seconds, Pareo had a couple of nice shots he landed. But it doesn't get to the stop. Get to the Just tracking it down. Time winding down in round seven. 
time. All right, here we have Figueroa throwing that great uppercut, doing some good inside work, and, and here it goes with that left uppercut, always throwing one hand. If the other one's loose, he's always throwing. This is round eight, scheduled for 12. Brandon Figueroa with a victory, hoping to be in position for a potential title fight down the line. Going up against the former WBA interim world bantamweight champ, your friends, Puerto Figueroa has landed nearly twice as many punches as Parejo over the first seven rounds. If you don't have some firepower to stun a guy. And it doesn't look like anything Moreno is throwing at Figueroa is stopping him uh, to is stopping him from putting that type of hard pressure on him. What I would tell Figueroa is let him come because you know he's going to come to you and set up his shots. Bring him, into, bring him into a trap. Know that he's coming. When he throws that punch, come with that right hand that you know you throw so well and try and hurt him. But that, that has happened. He's walked into right hands. Figueroa has. Right there, right there. Here, here's the point, Lennox. Pereira's got 11 knockouts in 26 fights. You know, that's that's really, you know, under 50%. He's not a big knockout puncher. He goes to the decision, but he doesn't knock out good fighters. I, you know, I scrutinize his record. He just doesn't knock out good fighters. He tries to take it to the decision because he's not a guy that can really stop you. And when you've got a guy like Figueroa putting pressure on you, yeah, you can be the greatest fighter in the world. You can land all the shots, but if you can't hurt him and stop him from coming on you like that, then you're in for a long night. And that's what's happening right now. Oh, yeah, he's definitely going for a long night right now. Yeah. Let's go, one more. One more, one more, one more, one more round. Let's go, let's go. You want to keep going? You want to keep going? No, no, I don't want it. It's over. The trainer tried to get Pareto uh, to go one more round. He's, and that's what I was saying in the last round. You could not stop Figueroa from being on top of you. The fighter wanted to stop him, Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number eight. A referee in charge, Jerry Cantu, stops the contest upon suggestion of the fighter. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is still undefeated. He is now the interim WBA Super Bantamweight World Champion, the heartbreaker, Brandon Figueroa.